Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Modded. Today, you find me in a cave, and I am just coming through. So I wanted to show you something. Have you ever come across these things right here? It's called an orberry bush. It's from Tinker's Construct. You ever wondered what to do with them? Well, I'm going to show you the automation setup that I've got today. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so I grabbed those uh, orberry bushes primarily to show you what it's all about. It's, it's kind of a weird mechanic. Usually you go mining or quarrying for these resources, but Tinker's Construct has added these what are called orberry bushes, and you can get, uh, let's, ju let's just see. Let's pull up um, NEI here and take a look at orberry bushes. All right, so you've got iron, gold, copper, tin, and aluminum, So, or aluminum, depending on where you are in uh, English-speaking realms. So uh, so here we go. You've got these oreberry bushes, and they just grow, and then they make these berries. So you've got iron oreberries, gold, copper, tin, aluminum. And in Tinker's Construct, you can smelt them in your smeltery, and then that gives you one nugget's worth of this particular item. Uh, the neat thing about these is that they are or dictionary equivalent with iron nuggets, gold nuggets, and so on. So we don't have to go through the smelting step, and I'm going to show you how I'm dealing with that in just a moment. But uh, it's a really weird mechanic. I don't, I don't know if I particularly care for uh, metals growing on, um, on plants. Um, I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem... It's an, it's an interesting mechanic. I don't know if I necessarily like it, but it works. Okay, so, and because it works, because it's in the pack, we're going to use it. But um, if I was to develop my own pack, I think, I don't know if I would keep that particular piece. I'd force going mining or or quarrying for that. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to see how to do that. One of the things you got to keep in mind is that ore berries grow in caves. So you do have to go caving for it at least. But, um, and because it grows in caves, uh, it requires darkness. So you have to be below a certain light level to even place them. And then for them to grow, uh, you can't, uh, again, you can't be above a certain light level. There's another one. Let's get away from the pulverizer. It's still processing redstone. Um, so let's take a look at essence berries. I don't know what uh, what mod that's from. Oh, that's also Tinker's construct. Interesting. So we got plenty of those. All right. So all of that notwithstanding, I'm going to show you the ore berry farm that we've got. I'm going to show you how I'm dealing with it. The reason we want to use it is because it does give us a fairly unending supply of these items. So we're going to come down here. We come into our, uh, our castle keep. We go to the center here. This is the elevator block. You ready? Come down here. And uh, I've mixed a few different mods together. And there we go. So we've got Tinker's Construct or Berries going in no particular. It's just I've just thrown them down. I don't really care where they go. And this is aluminum, and copper. I really need more iron. Iron is the big one that I'm missing out on. Um, I could deal without having as many essence berries, but this works. Okay, so it's mostly Tinker's Construct down here. I've decorated with laboratory blocks and factory blocks from a chisel. And then I'm keeping it really dark in here. And the reason nothing is spawning is because of the magnum torch up top. So if I was to take that away, we would get spawns down here because I have not put slabs down and maybe eventually we'll have other elevator blocks going to lower levels but for now we're not worried about that let's take a look at how i'm farming all of this uh, one oh there's one more thing we've got to point out is the ender lily farm oh let's get away from that all of these things will damage you see it's like it's like they're cactus so we'll stick away from that. I've got the ender lily sitting on ender core, so it grows much faster. Ooh, scary noise. And then the way I am 
running this is with an MFR harvester. Let me pull out my precision sledgehammer and that way you can see the overall radius of the harvester. So it covers this whole room. I've got the uh, emerald, emerald radius here. So 25 by 25 and then over in the planter for for the ender lily we've got I can't remember which one and I don't know if we're going to go down to see it. We'll see. Uh, so the harvester's going. We've got an ender tank up top taking away all the sludge and then all of the items that we're getting from the harvester are going into a little drawer controller that you can't see and then that's going to compacting drawers that you can see from the front here and then we've also got a spruce drawer and spruce drawers and what we're going to do is take a look at the mechanics behind the scenes so let's come back here close that off right here we've got spruce trim that's kind of like a cable um, I don't know like it's like an inventory cable but it's for the storage drawers mod if you put one of these on then the drawer controller can still interact with other drawers that are around the corner so these trim pieces in here make it so that the drawer controller can send items to our drawers for the ender pearls and the essence berries and also the ender lilies attached up there so the harvester puts all of the items it grabs into this drawer controller which then kind of flings them out to all the drawers that are connected to it. And then from there, we've got compacting drawers. And that takes all of those ore berries and puts them in. And uh, then what we've got is an import bus. And this will pull the, uh, the ingots out. Okay. So we can pull copper, tin, aluminum, gold, and iron out of the drawer controller. And then that's going to leave any nuggets that are in there. So once we get three more gold ore berries from the harvester, then we'll get another ingot out of it. But this is just running all the time. So we've got our, our import bus, a couple of capacity cards so that we can pull out all of those items, and then acceleration cards to send it on its way very quickly. And this goes up to our ME system up there. So there's our storehouse wall right there. So that's how that's coming in. And then also we are... Uh, pulling out the ender pearls and the essence berries uh, like so. What we're not pulling out is ender lily seeds. Those are coming into this drawer and we've got uh, no filter on it. We're just pulling out all of those items. Let's see, can we get to it? Uh, ignore that for the time being. See if you can figure out what I'm working on right there. And over here we've got ender lily seeds. It's the lapis. Okay, lapis upgrade, 5x5. Five five. Okay, so there we go. All the ender lily seeds go into there kind of slow but uh, we've got plenty of ender lilies or our storage area for ender lilies there so uh so yeah there we go the harvester just grabs all those ore berries puts them into the drawer controller which throws them into the compacting drawer and uh, bob's your uncle that's how i am automating ore berries in ftb infinity evolved we got what uh, tinker's construct extra utilities mfr uh, what's this one? This is extra utilities, no ender storage and storage drawers. And then we're using applied energistics and uh, ender IO. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different mods. That's the neat thing about a mod pack. You can pull all these mods together, string them together in really crazy ways that weren't necessarily intended by the mod authors. But hey, that's the fun. I'm enjoying it. And hopefully you are too. And thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to share with me. And I hope it has been at least entertaining, but hopefully inspiring for your own builds. If it has inspired you, do let me know either in the comment section down below or on Twitter. You can even send me a screenshot for stuff that you're working on. I'd love to see it. That's going to be it for now. So uh, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.